Hello, dear audience, and welcome to CGTN special live streaming program coming to you live at the city of Xiamen of Fujian province in the southeast part of China. I'm CGTN reporter Hou Jing. And right now, as you can see uh, behind me is the map of the city of Xiamen. And you can see it is a very beautiful uh, uh, coastal city. And the last time I came to Xiamen was exactly 10 years ago. So my, uh, the, the, my memory and impression about this city is about this beautiful landscape and about their uh, delicious seafood, as well as one of the most beautiful campuses in China. But this time uh, I come to Xiamen, I found something super cool and exciting. And it's also one of the most hot, uh, most heated topic around the world, if not the most, is about the artificial intelligence. So today we're going to check out how the uh, artificial intelligence is integrating with all walks of life in Xiamen. And today, especially, we're going to check out what is the experience to take an autonomous vehicle. So if we zoom in of this map, we can see right now we are at, located at the, uh, the third uh, software park of Xiamen, Jimei District. So today we are going to take a round tour of this park uh, with our autonomous vehicle. And if we keep zooming in, we can see a digital image of the, uh, the road we are going to explore. This form is the digital twin uh, of the actual road in the physical world, as you can see through the camera. So this is what is happening exactly outside uh, our building on the road. And this part is the digital twin of the uh, real world. So we can try to compare if the digital twin shows exactly what is happening outside. We can see several people are across uh, the, uh, the, the crossroad, and we can see several people are also cross in the digital world. So let's go outside and check out how an autonomous vehicle can um, handle itself at the public road. What, what I mean by public road is that um, it's not a closed uh, park, uh, and people are walking and cars, uh, they just regularly um, operating uh, at this, uh, on this public road. So, which means that a lot of uh, different kinds of uh, scenarios can happen on this public road. So it, it can be a quite big challenge for an autonomous vehicle. Because you can see a motor car just pass us. Um, the fast cars can be a challenge for our autonomous vehicles. And also today we have a special guest join our program. And we'll see, um, we'll invite an expert to introduce to us what is his insight about uh, the autonomous vehicle and about the AI industry. Oh, I think that is the autonomous car that is going to pick me up at this station. Okay, our car is coming. The design of this autonomous car can be quite cute, right? Hey, hey hello, hello. 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 Welcome to join our program. Okay. Uh, this is our special program today. He is uh, Dr. Jiang Jing, who is the deputy director of um, the Intelligent Network Institu uh, Research Institute of King Long. Um, could you uh, say hello to our audience? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Jiang Jing, from the Xiamen uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'm the, uh, my name is Jiang Jing, who is the chief engineer of the information and communication of Ken Long. Okay, uh, so welcome to join our program. Okay. So, uh, 
we are going to explore with your guide to uh, try my first time to do an interview in an actual autonomous car. So before we start, one thing I'm very interested in um, is kind of one of my concern is, and I think most of the people, they are also very um, worried about the safety, yeah. which is the first important thing when you take an autonomous vehicle. So, so can you introduce to us how our uh, the uh, how the autonomous vehicle can guarantee the safety of people. Yeah, how it guarantee the safety? Um, okay, uh, first uh, I will introduce the, uh, the, the how to guarantee the safety in, in Chinese. Okay. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, first, we have two different types of the autonomous vehicle. We have three different types of the the Okay, so, uh, the, Dr. Dr. Uh, Jiang just introduced to us that there are several like laser radars and also the AI cameras uh, equipped on this car. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, oh, wow, that is a lot of knowledge for me. So uh, besides these kind of super sensors that can collect information around the, uh, the road we are going to explore and then uh, this is kind of a, a super computer that is equipped in this car that they, they can use the computation power to uh, to collect and uh, process all this information and then make their next decision okay dr. Jiang I'm excited and can't wait to explore with our autonomous vehicle so can we start right now okay okay okay, okay. okay. please please come in uh, thank you Uh, uh, okay. First thing, because the safety is very important, we need to fasten our seatbelt. Okay, let me fasten my seatbelt. Okay. Um, I can feel the the space is quite enough for for us to uh, like uh, drive on the road. So we can see there are like one, two, three, four, seven seats. Yeah. That is decorated in this car. And um, can you briefly introduce uh, uh, some of the functions of this car? Yeah. Uh, this car is about 4.3 feet. 两米，两米的宽度以及两米六，两米六的一个高度，这是这一个车的车身尺寸。同时，我们这辆车呢，可以呃最高呢，可以搭载九个人。Oh, nine people. Yeah, yeah, nine people. Okay, so besides the seven seats, two people can stand on this car, on this vehicle. 呃，那边是坐两个人。Okay，这边是坐两个人。Two，对，这边那个，然后中间再可以坐站三个。Oh, three people. Okay, and another thing I'm very curious is that because this is a autonomous vehicle or driverless vehicle, but I can see that there's still a person that is sitting beside us. So can you tell us what this gentleman is doing here? 呃，整体来讲，它呃不是驾驶的，这个就是您刚刚提的，这是一个自动驾驶。我们这是一个R4级的一个自动驾驶。那首先给大家介绍一下什么是R4级。R4级是一个高度完全的一个自动驾驶。
呃，自动驾驶呢，大概在我们这里面总共分为六六个层级，嗯，从 L 零到 L 五，嗯，那我们这是 L 四，嗯， L 零呢就是我们正常的一个驾驶水平，嗯， L 一呢它是一个辅助驾驶，嗯， L 二呢是在辅助驾驶基础上的话有一个。稍微一个高级的一个自动驾驶，就是我们现在就是您刚呃，我我们就是比较有市面上比较多的，像那个乘用车，就是特斯拉，就是比较那种特斯拉小鹏、魏小李这些啊、嗯，他们是有呃 level two level two 一样 level two，、okay. 然后在 L L L 呃 level two 呃上面的技术上，我们还有那个 L 三 L 三呢是一个。呃，高度的一个自动驾驶，它相对于 L2 技术上的话、嗯，就是驾驶员可以去解放自己的双手，嗯、同时也可以不用去观察周围的那个。So there has to be a driver for level three. 啊，对 ，level three.、Yeah. Or, uh, so to notice the information around your car. 啊、uh, ，OK. Yeah, yeah. 那呃，如果是那个啊、uh, L 四的话，这是高度完全的自动驾驶。嗯、我们这个完全，对，完全、嗯。这个时候呢，就是驾驶员完全可以解放自己的双手。啊、嗯，完了之后呢，因为所有的信息都是通过它传感器感知周围的信息，嗯、然后来控制这辆车。嗯嗯嗯，对，对，保证这辆车的安全，干净的 safety of the car。啊、嗯，然后刚刚我记得您说有一个特别有意思哈、啊，说这个车是一个三无产品。啊、嗯， uh, why we say that？ 啊、uh, ， this is a three， 啊， the 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 car is a。Three non-product because they have no steering wheel,、yeah. they have no brakes,、yeah, no. and also they have no accelerator. Yeah, and the car is going to take control of the the whole system to drive this. I'll say drive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quote yeah. unquote drive this yeah. car. Yeah. Okay. And also, I I see there's a big screen right here. Yeah. So can you tell us what a screen is for? 呃，这个屏幕呢，就是把周围感知的信息，嗯、然后在这个屏幕上呈现出来、嗯。同时呢，这也是我们那个交互的一个大屏，嗯、我们可以跟这个屏幕之间进行人机的交互，啊、对，或、okay. 进行，对，哦、oh, ，OK， 对。So it's not just a normal screen. 呃、uh, uh, ，Yeah, not not a normal、uh, screen.、Uh, As, uh, it's the the three dimension of the uh environment. Ah,、uh, okay. Around around the vehicle. Okay,、uh, we can see. Uh, on the screen, we are in front.、Uh, the black car,、uh, the black vehicle is us. And as you can see, two cars are behind us. And let me check my surroundings. Yes, and also one car just surpassed us. Yeah. It also shows on the screen.、Yeah. So we can see: is this using the digital twin technology? Yeah, 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 digital twin. Yeah,、oh, okay. technology. Okay.、Yeah. So this is another usage of the digital twin technology、um, in this car. And also, you mentioned that this、uh, screen. Um, that is embedded with the、um, human-machine interaction. Yeah, yeah.、So、can I take a try? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay.、Uh, can 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 it use English or just Chinese right here? Oh, it's Chinese. Chinese. Okay. Only、okay. Chinese. Ah, I check. I see. I saw that our light is not yet on. Ah. I think we should make it brighter. Okay. 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 目一个重要的目的就是要解决最后出行一公里的问题啊，最后出行一公里。对，最后出行一公里的话，它就是这是一个地铁口，从地铁口然后给它送到这个写字楼，写字楼然后再给它送到地铁口，然后让乘客出行。Okay, so this is kind of like a shuttle bus to pick people up from the public transportation, for example, the subway, and then to their office building. Yeah, yeah, it's a destination. Yeah. Ah, okay. And also, we can see on this screen, um, they have the showcase. Uh, where the car exactly is、um, on the route of、uh, this、uh, bus line? Bus station, station.、Uh, okay. bus station. Yeah. Okay. So、uh, let me just try.、Uh, we said we. I want to open、uh, the light of this car. Okay. Uh, 小度小度，嗯，打开顶灯。Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it shows very quickly. 对，就像现在我们。呃，是比较火的那个 Chat GPT 一样、嗯，它可以通过我们输入的语音，嗯、然后呢，通过输入语音，然后去控制这个车一个状态。嗯嗯嗯。对，用人，这是用人机交互 HMI。啊、yeah. oh, ，OK， yeah、um,。The whole machine intersect and interaction. Interaction, OK. And I know, uh, Xiamen is, an, especially our district of the Jimei New City, is the one of the is the first large scale. 
uh, commercial pilot area yeah. for autonomous vehicles. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so right now, besides our autonomous vehicle, what are some other applications of this uh, driverless car or some other autonomous vehicles? Can you introduce to us? Uh, this <coughs> 目前是我们全中国也是世界上然后第一个商业L4级的这个地方除了这个阿波隆之外我们还有其他一些产品就是不仅仅这个阿波隆这个一辆车在这个做这个无人接驳之外我们还改造了五十台的公交车这对这五十
uh, about 14 provinces and 38 cities around China. Uh, in other cities, they have this kind of industrial business. As I know, they are more in the gardens. Because in the gardens, people are willing to experience this kind of industrial business. Ah, uh, okay. And, and I think one thing is very important is because right now we are on the public road. The speed of all these cars can be very fast, yeah, right? Yeah. But in the park you mentioned, people are just walking, yeah. and there's no high-speed cars uh, uh, running in the park. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Okay. We, we, this car can reach the speed of 40 km per hour. 40 km. Okay. Yes. Uh, because this is on the public road. We, in the open road, we can reach 60. Oh, so fast? Ah, yes. Because this is on the public road. Because this is on the public road. Because this is on the public road. 自主驾驶，所以说我们为了保证更安全的话，会对这辆车进行限速，然后我们给它限速到了四十公里每小时。四十 ，OK。So the limit for this uh autonomous vehicle in the public road because we can see um they are very uh complicated situation happening on the public road. As you can see, um cars are running and there are bikes and motorbikes and pedestrians. Uh, yeah, there are. Different kinds of scenarios, and as you can see through our camera, we are uh, passing a crossroad. Yeah. And Dr. Jiang, I can feel the car can operate very steady. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Can start and stop uh, yeah. very slowly and gently. <laughs> Yeah, a gentleman. Yeah, yeah. Like this is due to our engineers, our technical team, to make it so smooth. Because this is very smooth. It has a connection with the surrounding area. This is different from the other roads. This is a wireless road. Oh, you mean the crossroad is also equipped with the AI? Not only, not only have these things. Uh, besides the AI, uh, the camera, and the... Uh, 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 not only have these uh, AI devices, we have a road unit. Road side unit. A road side unit. Yeah, okay. uh, and, and there's the MEC. Uh, okay, yeah. I think that is the one, of the, uh, one part of the vehicle card coordination. Uh, MEC. M MEC. Uh, and the, 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 the multi access uh, editor computing. Uh, 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 我们这个智慧路口，每个智慧路口会把自己的计算、计算的单元、计算的消息，比方说计算这个人流量、计算的这个呃车子的流量以及这个通行量，会把这个消息呢会计算，计算呢会上传到云控平台。云控平台。对，这个云控平台呢会把这个消息给这个车，这个车呢会。给根这个车会根据建议的车速然后行走啊，建议对，然后呢会会有一个绿波通行，嗯嗯，对，同时话我们中七个路口中有一个路口，然后是可以做绿波通行的，绿波通行，对，就是这个车在红绿灯路口的时候，它一直是不停的跑啊，它不呃不用等红绿灯，就是红绿灯什么时候灭，它自己知道，它根据这个周围的一个路况的一个情况，嗯。然后给自己一个车速，这个车速的话就可以不用等红绿灯，一直在这个园区内跑。哦，然后绿波通行。Okay. Green wave traffic. Oh, green wave traffic. Yeah, 绿波通行。Okay, so you mean uh, this is a the whole district is a large system, so it's integrated with the uh smart road and also the smart car. Yeah. And they can change information all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so that uh, Dr. Jiang just in uh explained to us that. There's a kind of uh, uh, car operation that the car can run non-stop because it can sense when is the time for uh, the, the traffic light to turn to red and when to turn to green. And they can, 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 uh, uh, can, can calculate the time so they can uh, change the speed of the car. So uh, the car can run non-stop for the whole route. Yeah. Oh, this is very 
smart car. Smart car. And a smart road. Smart road. And a smart in a cloud, cloud control platform. Ah, smart cloud control platform. Yeah. Okay. Is that part of the uh, vehicle road coordination? Uh, yeah, it's uh, 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 okay. uh, okay. So we can see how smart, because right now it is uh, just for the pilot, uh, uh, pilot district. And I am looking forward to see that the whole smart district is going to uh, expand in the future to yeah. be a smart city. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. And mm, also, I know this car is also a green car because yeah. it's powered by the electric electri uh, electricity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, uh, one thing I was a little bit curious if it, that that question is too stupid, please um, forgive me. Can we use uh, AI technology, the driverless technology, in a petrol car? Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, what what are the if we compare these two, what are the differences if we use AI and driverless technology in a petrol car and uh, in an electric vehicle? Uh, 我们现在这辆车用的其实就是AI 我们都是通过这个车身的很多传感器，然后通过这个AI的算法，然后去计算的。嗯嗯嗯， mm -hmm. yeah, I mean this is the software part. Yeah. And how about the the hardware part? Because right now the hardware part is a electric vehicle. Mm. Can we use this AI system and driverless system in a petrol car? Uh,都都都可以。就是这辆车的硬件的话，它我们这边不仅仅含有这个这个软件，然后通过AI算法，然后来计算嘛。我们这个硬件平台也可以，然后用到其他车辆。Ah, uh, okay. So there's are there any differences? Um,呃，有呃，你如果说是呃区别来说，从这个区别来讲的话，要看要看那个他们的车愿不愿呃能不能改造。就是如果他们的车是具有线控的车型，那个是可以的。如果他们那个车没有这个线控的功能，呃，同时我们的这个指令发送不了到那个底底层的控制器，就是VCU，对，Vehicle so it depends on um the situation of the car exactly. And also, I just noticed that the car, uh, just automatically. Uh, stop itself at the station. Yeah. So, are there any interaction between the station and our vehicle? Uh, oh, okay. oh, okay. oh,这条路跑的这个信息全部都采集到这个车上面 uh, how many people are there? Uh, yeah, 他, 他们会统计, 那个智能站点会统计, 他智能站点里面有很多个摄像头,然后监控这个站的区域。如果没人的话,这辆车有可能就不停站,如果不停站的话,它会一直在那跑,然后节约乘客的通行时间。Okay, uh, uh, Dr. Zhang just explained to us that besides the seven smart uh, crossroads, we also have in Xiamen, in the Jimei district, 14 smart stations, which can collect, also collect information uh, of the station and then transfer to the car to achieve a better interaction and also he just introduced that um, the the smart station can know quote unquote can know how many people are there waiting uh, at the station um, and one thing I think most of people are also very curious because the 
the camera, the camera at the station are collecting information yeah. about the people right there. Yeah. How to guarantee the <laughs> data safety? Uh, is this? It only records human traffic. It doesn't collect other information. Ah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Aside from that, and this car is self-driving, self-warning. This car has been reported. Yes. 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 呃，这个车，然后去过站的时候，嗯、乘客呢他不知道，所以他到站的时候，他语音播报也是自动提醒的。啊，对 ，OK。之前的话，我们公交车的话，它是通过按按钮，嗯、然后到这个站按这个按钮。嗯嗯。这个车不是。嗯嗯嗯、啊。对。OK。啊 ，So Doctor Jiang just explained what one of my concern is that on this at the smart station, the camera only collect information about how many people, the number of the people. Uh, who who are waiting at the station, but not other information, uh, especially yeah. for their private information. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and also uh, in front of me, I see two screens or panels uh, equipped on this car. Yeah. Uh, and at the first one, I can see very clearly is the uh, what so we can see through the one. camera. Yeah. Uh, so the first, uh, so there's three different um, pictures. How about uh, the the panel? Uh, what is the function of the panel? Uh, this is the first thing. The first thing is that the camera uses the sensor to collect data from the surrounding information, and then the camera uses the sensor to show the camera in the screen. The second thing is that the camera uses the sensor to collect data from the surrounding information, because this car has seven sensors, the automatic sensors. The seven sensors are located in the middle. The middle sensor should be in the middle. 呃，四目摄像头是用来探测，呃，前面所有的路况信息。嗯，其他的一个摄像头的话是把周围的信息汇聚到这里面来，然后在这里面进行呈现实时的一个影像。啊、uh, ，OK， so I guess this is a the small screen is also another digital twin, uh, use the digital twin technology, yeah, to uh help to handle the car. And it, as you just mentioned, uh, we don't have to like, uh, uh. To control, to open the door and close the door, it will just um, operate uh, automatically. 对，仅仅是显示。嗯，对。到站它会自动提醒。嗯，对，因为这边有一个智能站台，会也也会有发一个消息告诉他。嗯。同时，我们这辆车上面也会有，呃，这个到这个地图这个点，这个精准度坐标，告诉我到这个点了，它会有一个到站提醒，它会有一个匹配。对，我们会精准的匹配，精准的匹配到站点位置，跟我们地图的位置。啊，对， okay. 匹配 OK， 匹配呃之后，然后这个车会自动打开。嗯，啊，然后到提醒。嗯，对。Because uh there is a digital map that is uh working uh the exactly with this car, and we can see on the screen it shows how uh how long are uh how long are the distance from where we are to uh the next stop. So yeah. right now it is 949 meters to our next stop. Yeah, mm. yeah. Okay. So I can feel that we are right now living in a digital world. And because uh, we can see the decoration of this car, it's uh, not a normal car that is uh, have different rules. Mm. And we have a very large uh, space mm. for people. So maybe mm. this is like what we are uh, doing right now. <laughs> it's a moving, it's yeah. a mobile interview space. Yeah. Yeah. So what are the other scenarios uh, our autonomous vehicle can be applied to? Uh, you, you mean a scenario? Yeah, scenario. Yeah. Different situations. For example, uh, you mentioned um, they ha you have put into use in the park and some other areas we can um, put into use at the early stage. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, other, other examples? This area will be a lot of time. 然后这个很多场景的一个又很多场景又。Okay, let me let me take a guess. How about because you just mentioned parks, um, these scenarios, um, is not a lot of uh high speed cars are running. Um, so how about uh airports? 嗯嗯，可以。Okay. 啊对，嗯，像这个，呃，就是我们呃呃，就是您您刚提的那个，然后飞机呃到了那个。
站站点之后，然后飞机呢会呃到那个塔台之间、嗯，如果停的会比较远的话，这个可以用来做呃这个接驳。嗯嗯。同时呃我们呃这个在运营。呃，运营里面的目的的话，就是呃解决最后一公里问题，嗯、然后在地铁站、嗯，然后到写字楼之间，这、嗯就是呃接驳的一个功能。啊、嗯呃，同呃其呃其呃还有一个最重要的应用呃应用的话是，呃可以用来做这个物流运输。嗯，因为它是呃无人驾驶、嗯，所以它可以全天二十四小时，然后呃做，然后因为人要需要休息啊、嗯，对我可以用这辆车，然后不停的。去运转，然后可以最大的发挥它的效率。嗯嗯嗯,嗯。对，还有呢，这辆车，呃，也可以，呃，用在这个，呃，比方无人无人啊、呃、无人把车啊这些东西。无人把车是什么？呃，我，呃，就是一个应用嘛。啊、哦。啊、呃，对，就比方说这个车跑在前面，我可以，呃，就是像类似于游戏那样，然后把这个车，然后。啊、oh, ，You mean like? 呃、uh, ，就是那个远程控制吗？对，远程控制。Oh, OK， 呃、uh, ，so besides the um scenarios, scenarios, a doctor Jiang just explained, like in the park, we can also put into use in a airport. Yeah, yeah like yeah. like we just explained that because it 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 um solve the um problem to pick people up at the last one mile. 对。Mm. Uh, so this can be applied in the airport situation, and also another one is the uh, Deliver. dispatch delivery. Yeah, yeah, because in the car, hours. yeah, it can operate twenty four seven, nonstop, and also one of another thing is use the long range control. So there is a person that is uh, standing maybe in a uh, control room, so they can use yeah. the camera yeah. to do the long the, distance control. The, uh, Remote, remote control. Ah, okay. Remote, remote control. 对 ，remote, remote control. Ah, okay. 嗯，这辆车是可可以远程控制。嗯嗯。So, because you are a the the chief engineer of the autonomous vehicle, could you help ah me and also our audience to foresee the future of ah autonomous vehicle? And how about or to compare ah what is the level of ah the autonomous vehicle ah development in China compared with the world? 呃，我们这辆车是全世界第一款商用的 L 四级车， oh. 全世界第一款商用的 L 四级车。目前， mm-hmm. 对，然后就是刚刚呃，目前已经跑了测试里程，已经跑了二十八万公里， mm-hmm. 然后超对，超过有二十万人二十万人的体验人次， mm-hmm. 然后安全率是百分之百。哦，百分之百。对，没有出现过事故。哦、oh. ，对，零事故。Okay, uh, Mr. Doctor Jiang just explained to us that. Uh, this kind of uh, level four autonomous vehicle has operated more than two hundred and eighty thousand meters. Uh, 二十八万公里。啊，公里。对，二十八万公里。啊、uh, ，OK， two hundred and eighty thousand kilo kilometers. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it and also this car has passed one hundred percent for the test. And uh, how about uh, let's make some uh, foresight. 二二十万人次的体验人次。Oh, and also. Uh, Twenty thousand uh, people have experienced this autonomous vehicle, and oh, I think our vehicle has reminded us that we are approaching our last stop of our experience. Oh, we we just finished. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's so fast. Uh, we can uh, can first check the engine. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay, it can open the car automatically. So during the whole process, I think our audience can feel together with us. Um, it is very steady because the they can see through the camera that uh the the picture is very steady, which shows that our whole uh, whole trip is also very steady. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. Thank you, Doctor Jiang, for joining our program. I okay, learned a lot for you. From, okay, okay. 我也是，我也是。谢谢，谢谢。Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. 然后里面我们是不是还有一个，就是那个我看那个对那个云平台。对，我刚刚只了解了其中的一小部分。您再跟我介绍一下，还有什么神奇的地方吗？好的，好的，好的。好 ，OK. Ah, let's first say goodbye to our dear audience. Okay, okay. Bye, dear audience. That's all for today's live streaming. Bye for now. Oh, bye bye.